All right, it's 9.15 in the morning. Day eight, July 3rd. And I'm drying my boots by the campfire. A couple cups of coffee this morning, getting a slow start. And I got another bear down here. I think it's the big sow I saw yesterday. She's a little further down the beach than she was. It's kind of out on the edge of my range. Mostly just eating grass at this stage. Yeah. I see that smoke blowing across the lens. About 50 yards closer than my bare feet, so obviously I'm not going to run very fast. All right, shit. Mosing along, eating grass, so. Well, first disaster of the trip, or mistake anyway. Uh, trying to dry these pants after laying around filming that bear, and bingo, they fell into the fire. Being synthetics, they just roast. So these are gone. Too bad, I kind of like these things. Maybe I'll get another pair when I get back, but uh, they're definitely not usable now. Plastic pants. And my boots fell over because they were sitting on top of it and charred the f top of it. So that cho chopped off. They were a little long anyway, but uh, other than that, they'll survive. Extra tufts. Now they're just tufts. Well, it's mid-morning. The bear is still down there. Must be her spot. She's just hanging out there all day. She's been there all morning, back and forth, chewing grass. Looks up at me every now and then, so it's completely aware of where I am. It's kind of like having a cow in your backyard. And I'm thinking I'm gonna head out to this misty drizzle of a morning and, and look for some uh, salmon. All right, this is my second day here in Hunter Bay. I'm trolling. There's some salmon that move through here, but mostly they move up into the deeper water, so I'm gonna head up there and twitch. Twitching for fish. It's a way to jig for fish. Now there's my tent, and there's the Mr. Bear, or Mrs. Bear. She's over there. Kind of doing her thing. Right over that log. Just flipping rocks on the beach, so. Here's a jellyfish that got caught up in the tide. Right up here in fresh water. Lots of tentacles. I'm hiking up here to some pools to see if I can uh, locate those salmon. Like those guys, they don't seem to be too afraid of me. They know I'm a predator. There we go. So what I'm looking for is a deep pool as the tide's falling. It would concentrate salmon like this one and that one up there. The next falls up there. So but this right in here should should concentrate some salmon. There should be a lot of cutthroat in here too. Alright. Twitching up this river here, throwing my little twitch jig. And I got a nice uh oh, hold still. Nice little uh, cutthroat. They're really good to eat. Delicious, especially when you're hungry. And I'm always hungry. Well, this river seems to be loaded with these guys. Oh. This one's even a little chunkier. Nice cut on his throat there. These are pretty good, pretty good eating. So grab a few of these. Well, it's another beautiful day in paradise. My campsite's back there. That's the entrance to the little cove that I'm in. And this is the bigger cove that the whale was in when I was coming in the other day. It's a little deeper. I'm going to troll out here. The salmon don't seem to be there for uh, 
at low tide. Anyway, maybe they'll push when the high tide comes up, but I got a supply of, of cutthroat. So I'm out in the outer, outer one, and there's another bear over there. I'll get closer and take a, a shot of him. So are you keeping count? That's bear number six. I think it's gotta be, gotta be bear number six. There was two this morning. And this is the third one today. There's a whole nother stream here. This is a male. He's probably 150. Longer legs. Looks like your typical teddy bear. Oh, there he goes. Little tail tucked between his legs. Boom! Crash through the brush. It didn't take much, just had to put my paddle in the water. Well, here it is, more rain. A halfway decent morning. Actually, it's pretty nice. But it hasn't cleared up at all. In fact, it's getting worse and worse the last few hours. So, I'm all pruny again. Just damp all the time. I think this is day four. Yeah, it started in the evening, so yeah, solid four days of rain. Showers off and on. I'm really, really ready for the sun to come back out. So I'll even risk a sunburn for that. I'm gonna cook food, some coffee, and have a nap. Maybe at high tide I'll go back out and pursue salmon again, but I couldn't find any this afternoon as the tide was low. Maybe when the tide changes, the fishing luck will change. But I've got my cutthroat trout and rice working here. So I'm gonna do that dish with trout and rice. And that'll be the meal for the day. Maybe a little leftover for tomorrow, I don't know. But uh, when the sun comes out, I'll I'll stick my head out the passage out there and see if I can get a weather report or find a boat or somebody who has some idea of what kind of uh, weather might be coming and make my decision on whether I'm going to go back around the Horn or try to venture out to the offshore islands. Fourth of July, day nine. I'm leaving Hunter Bay. Had a nice stay, but I'm out of here. Kind of played it out. Did everything I wanted to do there. Had a good time, saw a few bears. Caught a few fish. Hiked up the river, check that out. Tide's coming in now, so I'm slowly trolling my way out toward the entrance. It's a pretty wide entrance. So I don't have to worry too much about current against me this morning. Even if the tide's coming in, I'm sure I can squeak through. And then uh, I get out there on the water and kind of figure out where I'm going to go next because I'm hoping I can get a weather report when I get out a little further away from the uh, campsite. Certainly can't pick up a weather report inshore here. Figure it out. But uh, bugs are really, really bad this morning, which hopefully means that the rain stopped for now. Good 4th of July present would be to see a ray of sun because it hasn't seen sun in five days now. Five days of rain. Sprinkling just a little bit right now, but uh, I'm done with the rain. Here's where I am on Hunter Bay right there. I spent uh, one night on Nichols Bay, Nichols Bay, two nights on Hesse Bay. Hesse Inlet, three nights on Hunter Bay, three nights and two days there. So I got my choice, I can pull out here and look at the weather report. If the weather report looks bad, I can pull up here. I'm thinking about this class, what's that, Clackus Lake. If the weather looks good, I might pull out here and even shoot across. It's not that far from Hunter Bay, Shipwreck Point, and then shoot across to Long Island. 
Right now I'm just leaving the mouth of Hunter Bay. This inlet over here is right there. So if I should stay left and get around that point. I'm thinking of head further this way or to head up here and check out Clockus Lake, but it doesn't look like on this chart that this goes all the way through. It has to drain to the sea though. That would be the, that lake would go through. Anyway, it's a beautiful day. I'm thinking I'm going to try that. Uh, Heidelberg is up here. So maybe I'll go up here and play for a day and check out some other areas and then go up to Heidelberg and maybe get a hamburger. Yeah, hamburger would taste delicious right now.